In today's video, we're going to talk about the best vegetables for cats. Can cats eat vegetables? Believe it or not, there is a way to help your finicky cat get healthier. Adding a few select vegetables to their diet is a great way to give them more selection while sneaking in additional healthy vitamins, minerals, and fiber as well. Keep in mind that a cat's diet should never consist of pure veggies. Cats by nature are carnivores, and their systems are developed to include meats and fish. If you have a specific question regarding your cat's dietary needs, be sure to check with your vet before adding something new. Unlike us humans, cats aren't omnivores. They get their primary nutrition from a carnivorous diet containing fish, chicken, turkey, and other meats. The feline organism has special dietary requirements, which are met through the protein, vitamins, and other nutritional ingredients found in real meat. High-quality cat food manufacturers praise their products for containing high amounts of real meat and little or no fillers like wheat, rice, and other grain crops. Even though feline furballs are carnivorous by default, they still need vitamins just like us, humans. And a well-balanced human diet includes lots of vegetables and fruits. Many domestic kitties won't mind sharing their pet parents' veggie or fruit-based snacks, despite the fact that they don't contain meat. But can cats benefit from eating vegetables? Yes, they can. Although cats are meat eaters, when they hunt and eat their natural prey, they eat the vegetable matter in the prey's gut. Cats are built to tolerate a certain amount of roughage in their diets. If your cat is overweight, adding some veggies to her diet can help keep her weight down. Feeding your cat vegetables can also boost her immune system and can lessen the effects of aging. In fact, many cat foods and cat treats do offer a variety of vegetables in their recipe formulas. Vegetables are rich in a plethora of healthy ingredients like potassium, riboflavin, antioxidants, dietary fiber, and vitamins. All of these things are essential for cats of all breeds, regardless of their age. If you've noticed that your cat has this craving, keep houseplants away from it, because they may be toxic. Instead, serve up small portions of veggies to your cat. Some recommended vegetables include baked carrots, steamed asparagus or broccoli, green beans, winter squash, or chopped greens. It's advised cat owners to wash veggies thoroughly and avoid anything that might be indigestible, like uncooked carrots. Never add any sugar, salt, oil, butter, or other seasonings. Of course, there are some vegetables, which you should never give to your fluffy friend. Onion, garlic, mushrooms, and tomatoes are just some examples of toxic foods for the feline organism. Today, however, we'll focus on those vegetables which are beneficial for cats and the ways they can help your pet lead a healthy, happy, and thriving life. So, without further ado, here's a list of the best veggies which you can safely give to your furry pal. Here are the best vegetables for cats. Carrots. Carrots are an excellent source of a lot of different vitamins and minerals, including healthy beta-carotene. Feline teeth are quite different from rabbit teeth, but that doesn't mean cats won't benefit from eating this particular bunny food. You might be surprised, but carrots are also considered a superfood for cats due to their numerous health benefits. Carrots are low in fat, which makes them a great snack for overweight furballs. What's more, they offer potassium, calcium, dietary fiber, vitamins A, C, and B6. On top of that, this vegetable is an excellent source of beta-carotene. You probably don't know this, but many cat food manufacturers use carrots in their recipes. Since the feline organism can't process this veggie as the human organism can, you should feed only moderate amounts of carrots to your furry companion. The best way to do so is to offer grated or finely chopped carrots and only when they're cooked. This will make them easier for digestion and it will also prevent the cat from choking with larger chunks. Just be sure to cook the carrots before feeding them to your cat and chop them up into small, easy to digest pieces to avoid choking. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Peas. Include peas in your cat's regular diet for an additional healthy blend of proteins and carbohydrates. Green peas are among the top healthiest vegetables for humans and cats alike. If you don't believe us, just do a quick research of the ingredients in high-quality cat foods, either canned or in the form of kibble. You'll find that peas are one of the most popular veggie ingredients. Magnesium, calcium, iron, manganese, zinc, potassium, copper, and phosphorus are among the most beneficial essentials found in green peas. They also contain healthy amounts of vitamins A, K, B1, B2, B6, and C. Mixing up some steamed peas in your kitty's food will add some carbohydrates and protein to its diet. Another way to offer green peas to your pet is to puree them prior to serving them. 
Green beans. Green beans are another one of the few approved veggies that are okay to feed to your cat, especially if they happen to be overweight. They are 100% safe for the feline organism and are rich in dietary fiber, as well as in protein. Cooked green beans can serve as a healthy substitute for traditional cat treats. They are rich in thiamine, riboflavin, calcium, magnesium, potassium, vitamins A, B6, C, and K. As long as the cooked beans are unseasoned and don't have any dressings, they will be perfectly safe for your kitty. Similar to peas, you can serve them whole or pureed, but only in moderate amounts. Winter squash. Plain, unspiced winter squash contains fermentable fiber that, when eaten in moderation, can actually help normalize your kitty's bowel environment and relieve constipation or diarrheal issues. Zucchini. As a popular ingredient in many commercial cat food options, zucchini is harmless for cats. Diabetic or overweight pets can benefit from eating zucchinis as they're low on calories. On the other hand, they contain high amounts of vitamin C, A, B6, as well as magnesium, iron, calcium, potassium, and dietary fiber. Finely chopped steamed zucchinis can easily be hidden inside wet canned cat food. If your own feline pal is too finicky, you can mash the zucchini into a puree before mixing it with the food. Broccoli florets. Steamed broccoli is an easy way to distract your cat from chewing on any of the other tempting leafy plants you may have around the house. The antioxidants found in broccoli can also be an added benefit to your furry friend's diet. Spinach. Spinach is another famous human superfood, which can also be beneficial to cats, spinach. Spinach contains a plethora of vitamins and minerals, which are crucial for every living organism, including felines. One of its best advantages is that it can serve as an anti-inflammatory tool for the cat's digestive tract lining. However, spinach can also be dangerous to some cats, especially those suffering from urinary tract problems. It contains calcium alaxit. Even though the amounts of calcium alaxit are low, they can contribute to the possible formation of harmful crystals in your pet's urinary tract. Regardless of the type of vegetables you're feeding your cat with, keep in mind that the kitty is a carnivore. A well-balanced feline diet features meat as a primary food item, whereas vegetables must be serving only as an additional bonus. They can't substitute the essential ingredients in real meat products. And if your cat is thriving on a vegetable-based diet, it will suffer from malnourishment, which will lead to a number of health problems. Too much is bad. Look at the ingredients of the cat food you buy. Many foods, especially dry food, contain too much plant-based protein instead of animal-based protein. Muscle meat should be the first ingredient and will be on the label as chicken or turkey, for example. Cat food that contains corn, wheat, or soy as the main ingredient is not a good choice. The amount of carbohydrates in commercial cat food should be no more than 3-5% to of the total ingredients. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.